we are given g of x which is equal to 3 to the power x right and then the first question 6.1.1 is saying that let's write down the equation of g inverse in the form y is equal to so we want the inverse of g of x right how do you find the inverse of a function uh, so the first step you swap x and y so you swap x and y and then the second step uh, you make you make y uh, the subject of the formula right you make y uh, the subject those are the only two steps you need to follow in order to find the inverse of a function so let's go ahead and follow the first step we're saying that we need to swap x and y right so initially we have y is equal to 3 to the power x but if we go ahead and swap x and y we're gonna have x is equal to 3 to the power of y so you literally put in x in place of y and put in y in place of x we are done with the first step the second step you make y the subject of the formula right but then y is up here right now so we have an issue we need to bring it down by introducing log on both sides so if we do that we're gonna have a log of x being equal to log of 3 to the power y if you introduce log you can take down the exponent right so we're gonna have a uh, log of x being equal to y log of 3 right it's easy to see now what we are going to do we're going to divide both sides by log of 3 uh, if we do that we're gonna therefore get uh, y being equal to log of x divided by log of 3 we can write it nicely and see y is equal to log of x base 3 and that is the equation of g inverse in the form y is equal to it's quite you know easy and straightforward and 6.1.2 6.1.2 is saying that point p point p of coordinates 6 and 11 lies on h of x so we have h of x which is equal to 3 to the x minus 4 plus 2 right the graph of h is translated to form g so we are translating h of x to form g uh, we know that uh, g of x is equal to 3 to the power x right so now the question is saying let's write down the coordinates of the image of p on g so we need to translate p right the same way h of x is being translated to g so let's call this p prime and see what we have so let's start with uh, this part here on h of x we have plus 2 but then on g of x we don't have plus 2 right so to move from h of x to g of x you need to minus 2 from h of x from the y values so since we have 11 here if we subtract 2 we're going to end up with 9 right so we know that uh, the y value we have here is actually 9 right now let's move to the x value we have x minus 4 we started with x minus 4 right and now we just have x so what happened there we said x plus 4 right that's what we did and then we know fully well that f of x plus k will move your x values to the left right so we move in four units to the left uh we started with six if we move four units to the left we're gonna end up at two right we're gonna end up at x is equal to two so we're gonna have uh two here and that is the coordinates of the image of p on g 6.1 pin 2 uh let's move to the following equation 6.2 so we have 6.2 and the question is saying that uh let's sketched is the graph of f of x so we have some function f of x uh, which is equal to 2 to the x plus p 
plus Q. And then we have a coordinate T of uh, coordinates 3 and 16 on F. And the asymptote of F is Y is equal to 16. Yeah, we can clearly see the asymptote on uh, the graph we're given, right? And then now, uh, the question is saying, let's determine the values of P and Q. Let's determine the values of P and Q. So how can we possibly do that? We're going to start by looking at the value of Q, right? So we are interested in the value of Q. So Q is equal to minus 16. Let me explain why I'm claiming that or why I'm saying that Q is equal to minus 16. Uh, that is because for any value of x, we can substitute here. For any value of x, we can substitute here. f of x will never be less than minus 16, right? You can see it from your function here that for every, for any value of x you substitute, f of x will never be uh, less than minus 16, right? That's as slow as it can go. So now we know fully well that uh, f of x is equal to 2 to the x plus p minus 16. For whatever value you can substitute here, uh, f of x will never be less than minus 16. That is why we see that q is equal to uh, minus 16, right? Right, and now we just need to find the value of p, of which we're going to substitute our coordinate t. So we're gonna sub in t of 3 and 16. So if we do that, uh, this is the x value, this is the y, we're gonna get uh, 16 when it goes to 2 to the 3 plus p minus 16, right? So I'm gonna take minus 16 to the left hand side and I will get uh, 32, 32 being equals to 2 to the power 3 plus p. I wish it was possible for me to write 32 with the base of q so that I can drop the bases and equate the exponents. I actually can do that uh, because 32 is just 2 to the power of 5 and then that will be equals to 2 to the 3 plus p. So now you can see here that uh, I'm going to say 5 is equals to 3 plus p. Right. And then um, 2 is equals to p. That becomes easy to see now. 